Hi guys, this is Fernando doing another video for the Modern Survivalist. In this occasion I wanted to talk a little bit about lighters. I have a few of my lighters here, some of my collection, and also I wanted to include a small preparedness EDC carry tip that I think many of you will like. So here I have some of my lighters. This is as far as I remember, this is the first Zippo I actually bought. Let me change the mode here so as to show you better. No, it was in fact this one, the first one I bought, the black one. This was the first Zippo I ever bought, then came this one shortly. This one is the one that I carried for many years and really looks pretty well in spite of all the time it's spent in my pocket and it's been dropped a few times. And you don't you don't see much of of wear and tear. It's in actually in pretty nice condition. I was about ten years old when I got these two. It was the time that I thought it was pretty cool the camouflage finish. <laughs> yeah, for a ten year old it does look pretty good. Soon, in spite of just be being ten years old, soon I dropped it sometimes in the grass and, <laughs> and realized that it's pretty hard to find it if you drop it in glass in, in the grass while while camping and such so this one spent most of the time in, in its zippo box instead of, as more of a collection piece this one yeah still black but this one I carried a lot this one is the one that I've been carrying until until very recently actually it has uh, custom made uh, badges badges these one are made by a guy called Relic Raider and he makes these for the fans of Indiana Jones Indiana Jones in the movie I think it's the Raiders of the Lost Ark could be wrong but well in the Indiana Jones movie he has one of these lighters and in the movie they use a, a common Zippo lighter that has a, a paper badge so this guy he makes these custom ones this one is metal and resin so it's awesome it's very nice but it's a bit heavy for my taste and besides that it's a bit of a collector's item so I realized that the guy isn't making these anymore as far as I know I contacted him a few months ago asking for another one and didn't hear back from him so I guess he's not doing these anymore so I decided to just keep it as a collection piece for for my kids <laughs> so this one is staying home as from now so then I started carrying this one which is also very practical and it's actually great little lighter it keeps its fuel almost as twice as longer than the more famous simple lighters it's extremely rugged it's very resistant little lighter and um, it, I just love it that it resists it keeps the fuel for so long I mean just a once a month you refuel it and you use it a fair amount of time and it still has some some fuel in it and it has the flame you can regulate it with the amount of air that you allow to flow inside this is the Inco Super Triple Triplex Inco Triplex Super 6700 these are made in Austria I have a few of these there are several models I have I think I have all of them there's not that many uh, I think they make uh, this one the junior the streamline which is this one more flat also w works just as well as this one and they are all extremely reliable so that's one of the things I love about them the thing is that getting a bit tired of refilling all the time I started carrying this one as well so when I have the time to refill one of my IMCO lighters, usually this one, I use that. If not, I just grab a disposable lighter. Now, the thing is, and this is probably the main idea behind this video, is that not, not, all, not all disposable lighters are made equal. The, the Beak lighter is very popular, but it's not that great. The, the cheapest ones, the cheapest disposable lighters, are not something that I would trust much, especially with, with something that is going to be carried with you at all times and uh, at least us we're guys that are into survival and preparedness so we want something that we can depend on, we'll need it and if you need a disposable lighter 
that you were gonna be trusting your life to then I suggest getting a good one this one is a Jeep D Jeep as in Jeep but with a D before it these are made in France see that made in France and these are great disposable lighters it has three different compartments inside it usually lasts twice as long as ordinary uh, big disposable lighters and they're much better made as well, they're much more reliable the quality of construction and the quality control of these lighters is usually much better and I think it's the best disposable lighter money buys these days that's a brand right there, D Jeep made in France it says in, in their website, they have a pretty nice website and the website it says that these um, last for five a thousand five thousand uh, lights and that's a good amount of, of fire I know that it's much more cool these days to have the fire seal and make the sparks and all that but for practical use guys having the flame right away just cannot be beaten uh, of course this wouldn't work as well when if it gets wet and that's a disadvantage but if you're gonna be in the outdoors and and said you're probably gonna be carrying a fire steel as well but for ordinary stuff having a, a lighter such as this one in your pocket that's pretty useful too the flame can be regulated for bigger flame can be reduced small one I usually keep it that way so as to not spend unnecessary amounts of, of fuel so that yeah this will last a good amount of time now if you notice I have some duct tape wrapped around it this is a, a pretty common uh, preparedness uh, trick having some duct tape either in a credit card wrapped around in a credit card or some other uh, card you're not using anymore sometimes wrapped around uh, the water bottles and such but I found that the DG lighter is exactly the same shape the same wideness of your ordinary duct tape now if I'm gonna be carrying just a little bit of tape as I have here I hope and I would prefer to have the best possible tape around the best possible tape money can buy which is this one Gorilla Tape let me show you how it actually used, looks when when not out of its wrap I bought several of these when I was in the States so imagine how important I considered it to be in, in my luggage to bring several rolls of, of duct tape. It's one of those things that you use just use a lot and having good tape such as the, this one, the Gorilla Tape, it's terrific. Uh, I've been carrying this, I, I had the, the Jeep lighter for, for a while now, if you see some of my older videos, my EDC video, you'll see that I, ha that I showed this exact same lighter, but it didn't have the tape wrapped around it. Now that I have the tape, I've been using it surprisingly. You know, you know how it is, guys. When when you start carrying something and you find yourself using it a lot, I usually found myself, you know, just getting a a bit of tape for something, just cutting a bit and using it eh, so often that I thought, okay, I have to pass this little tip over to you guys because it is useful. So yeah, wrapping it ar around. Uh, good excellent disposable lighter such as the DG lighter it's a good piece of advice the the DG lighter is not as common as the more ordinary cheap uh, big uh, big ones but you can find it online I think it's available in Amazon and I'm sure if you go by your cigar store you will find that they have these the Jeeps as well sometimes they come with uh, a different design but usually that design can be it's just a uh, wrapped around it and you can cut it off and remove it if it if you're not liking it besides you're gonna be wrapping some some tape around it none the, nonetheless so really don't bother if it has different drawings and such so uh, I think it was it's a good little tip for you guys to implement see if it's useful or you or not for you try it out carry something like this in your pocket for a few weeks and see if you find yourself using it as much as I do. So basically that's it guys. Remember to subscribe and check the website www.themodernsurvivalist.com for more stuff and subscribe to this channel.
and see you on our next video. Take care.